Hi guys, welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new here, my name is Natia Wai, but I go by Beauty Rebellion. And if you're not new, welcome back, Rebels. Today's video is going to be a hair tutorial. I'll show you guys how I installed this 5x5 lace closure wig from Love Me Hair Company. Guys, let me tell you, this was like the quickest install that I've done in a long time. And I'm not just saying it. It literally took me maybe like 25 minutes just to install and throw a few curls in the hair straight out of the box all i had to do was pluck it a little bit do a little bit of customization but other than that i did not have to bleach the knots or anything it was super super easy so if you guys want to see how i achieved this look and learn all about the hair that i have in just keep on watching all right guys so the wig i'm using in today's tutorial is from love me hair company this is the packaging that it came in the wig that they sent me is their 14 inch 5x5 lace closure wig along with the wig they also sent me a nude stocking cap and a bag full of goodies y'all know i like gifts Inside of the bag is a edge wrap with their name on it, a little wallet sized mirror, and an edge brush. So back to the wig details, like I previously stated, this is their 14 inch 5x5 lace closure wig. The texture is loose wave and the hair is 180% density. The hair is really, really soft and the lace looks like it's already pre-plucked and lightened a bit. So I am going to be installing this wig right out of the box. I'm not gonna bleach it or anything. Shoot, sometimes you just don't wanna go through all that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to install this closure wig without having to do all the extras. So guys, I put the wig on my mannequin head and this is what it looks like before customizing it. Alright guys, so to get started, I'm just going to use my hot comb and make sure all the hair on the closure is going in the same direction. And once I'm done doing that, I'm just going to go on with my tweezers and I'm just going to go ahead and pluck my closure. So we definitely want our closure to have like a frontal look. So we are going to pluck quite a bit. <laughs> We're going to pluck a lot of hair out. So you can pluck to your liking. I like to pluck quite a bit. You guys will see how much I pluck. But yeah, make sure you're parting the hair and plucking behind the hairline as well. The whole point of plucking your closure is to make it look less dense and resemble a natural hairline. So as I'm plucking, I'm frequently hot combing the hair back as well so I can see more what I'm working with. And then I noticed the part was a bit full, so I just went back and I plucked some hair from the part as well. Once you're done plucking, it should look something like this. So guys, now it's time to go ahead and put her on. So the lace on the wig looks pretty transparent. 
but just so that it matches with my skin complexion a little bit more i'm gonna go on with my fit me powder from maybelline and i'm just gonna go ahead and add that all over the lace and all over the cap that i'm wearing because this is a closure wig y'all i'm not going to do the ball cap method i just thought it was unnecessary i'm just going to go ahead and put her on i don't plan on wearing it for that long anyway so yeah just went ahead and put her on now it's time to get into styling So first thing first, you want to make sure that your part is exactly directly in the middle of your head. And then we're just going to go ahead and take some of those baby hairs out. I'm parting it back quite a bit, but I am going to do a little bit more tweezing to that part of the hair. So it looks a little bit more natural. Once you're all done with plucking your lace, it should look something like this. I have these two pieces out in the front because that's what I'm going to use for my baby hair. As you can see, I still have the lace on, but I'm going to go ahead and spray my Ebon Stronghold Spray right behind where the baby hair are, like where it's supposed to look like scalp, just so that that part is completely intact and laid down before I cut the lace off. I'm gonna take that edge wrap with their name on it and I'm just gonna tie down my edges just like I would do if I was wearing an actual frontal, guys. I'm gonna tie it down, and while I wait for my lace to melt in, I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my hair.
all right guys so this is the finished look I think this wig style is super classy and mature the length just screams grown woman again shout out to love me hair company for sending me this closure wig I absolutely love it let me know what you think of this hair and style down below if you're not already subscribed I'm gonna need you to smash that subscribe button and leave me some feedback in the comments thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Smooches.